Super Bowl 2019 is fast approaching and even though my state California has a team LA Rams that's going to the Super Bowl all I care about is the food welcome to the bear pantry show my name is Barbara let's make some snack food for your tailgate party all right guys so take a look at my medley it takes a little bit of time to chop all these things up and definitely you can put what you like, all right? If you like other vegetables than this and black olives and all that stuff, go ahead and put that. But so far I have yellow, red, orange, bell peppers. I've got some celery. I've got some spinach washed and loosely chopped. I've got a big bowl, well, a nice size bowl that I'm gonna work with. You need some cream cheese, an eight ounce package. You can do the low fat, you can do the high fat, any brand will do. And you need this. Now, I'm only gonna use a little bit of this because this has MSG. I don't know if the camera will pick it up right here. It says monosodium glutamate. That's MSG. It also hides under another name, which is natural flavor. And anything, anytime you see modified or hydrolyzed protein, look out, that's MSG. And I'm very sensitive to it. So I'm gonna put very little, but you can put more. The tortilla, the large, says large. Large flour tortillas. Eight came in this bag. We had it when Jada did the Southwestern egg rolls. By the way, first of all, congratulations to the Rams. Even though I said I'm not into sports or whatever, I'm just into the food. I know that that's a big feat for any team to make it to the Super Bowl. So congrats, all right? Especially being that they're from LA, right? So Jada had some pineapples left over from when she did her Southwestern egg rolls. Well, she didn't put it in that day that she did the video. She put it in on day two. By the way, what are you going to make for Super Bowl? Are you going to make my hot wings that I have here at the, uh, the site already? Are you going to make Jada's Southwestern egg rolls? What are you going to make? I have a whole bunch of snacks here already, guys. I've been working on this for you. So first of all, all we have to do is open our cheese. I've set it to room temperature so that it's easy to spread because I don't want to use the hand mixer because it's just going to get all um, bundled up in there and we're going to have to clean it, right? So. I'm just going to open this, put it in the bowl, add a little bit of the ranch dressing, and then mix it into a paste. And then I'm going to show you what we do next. I'm only going to use one tablespoon of the ranch powder because of the MSG issue. See, one tablespoon? Let me see if this will work. No, this is too slight. So let me get a sturdy spatula and just go ahead and break it up, break up the cheese and just mix the ranch powder in. Of course, it would have helped if I showed you guys that we're gonna need ham, all right? Thinly sliced ham. Jada went and got this three pack and it has roast beef, um, chicken breast, and ham. So you can mix it up if you want to when you're putting it on your thing, but if not, you can just like put one type of meat, like maybe just roast beef on this one, just ham on the other one, and so on and so on. Now, have you priced these things at the store? They're like 30 bucks for a platter of these things, all right? So it's always best to make it at home. So let me go ahead and get this open if I can find a spot right here. Duh, it says peel here. What's this one? This is a ham, let's try this one first. So we're gonna get our thick spatula. This is not for the faint of heart. If your tortilla is like not bendable, not flexible, just heat it up just a tad, all right? just to make it be foldable. I'm just making up words. Don't come for me. Y'all know I love you, right? So spread it all over. And I suppose you could put some hot sauce in this if you like it spicy, but I'm not gonna do that because I don't know who all is gonna eat. So I'm gonna grab our peppers, all different color. Now after spreading the cream cheese on top of the tortilla, building the pinwheels is pretty much straightforward. Just grab your vegetables and your cold cuts and just kind of spread them around like this. And you can do a mix and match. You can mix up the meats, you can leave off some of the vegetables, you can put on different vegetables. And just do whatever you like, alright? So I've put pineapples on this one because it has the ham. And all you want to do is tuck and roll. And roll it as tightly as you can go because you don't want it to fall apart when you cut it so after rolling it turn it seam side down 
and then wrap it in aluminum foil. I don't think the foil needed to be this big, but hey, I already cut it. Let's roll it, close up the ends, and then you put that on the fridge. Now we're gonna do the roast beef. Let me go ahead and spread some more of the cream cheese mixture. Put my beautiful medley of peppers and then the roast beef. And I totally forgot to put the spinach on this one. Grab the foil and just roll. Do the third one. Spread some more of the cream cheese. Use up all the rest of my ingredients. Put the chicken, and the chicken came out in pieces. It didn't slice well. Joshua wanted hot sauce on this one. Wait, I forgot to put the spinach, but I opened it back up and put the spinach. And then now, after a half hour, we slice diagonally. Take off the ends. So that one's not so pretty, because that's the end, right? Just keep slicing away. This is the one with the ham and the pineapple. I can't wait to taste this one. Now this is the one that's the roast beef. And you want to put it on a platter where you have all three different uh, flavors for your guests. So I have these to still cut up. I make another platter like this, but I just wanted to make that pretty one for you guys. So let me taste. I want to taste the one with the roast beef. This is one that didn't have the spinach because I forgot. And I have dips. I'm not gonna dip it in ranch because I already have ranch in it, so let's dip it in honey mustard. Ooh, I'm making a mess. Let's taste. Mmm. Mmm. My honey mustard is good. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm. Normally, I put like a toothpick in them so that your guests can pick them up easier but I don't have no toothpick right now so just pick it up with your hand dip it or not dip it it's up to you put whatever else you like I just give you an idea I give you a template so you guys can do this all right let me swallow <laughs> Thanks for watching. I really do appreciate you spending time to watch my videos. If you like what I produce, go ahead and hit like, share it for me. Don't forget to leave a comment and don't forget to follow the page and subscribe if you're seeing me on YouTube. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching The Bear Pantry Show. Don't forget to follow the page and check out my book at my Facebook store or at bearpantryshow.com. Bye now.